Today we're going to explore some Japanese history and tradition. We're going to make Japanese sweets, dress in a traditional kimono, and be taken through the steps of a Japanese tea ceremony. Kimono is basically made of just one fabric. There's a very important art to dressing in the kimono, so they're going to teach us how to get dressed. All right, Ooh, make it nice and snug. Now that we're fully dressed in our kimono, it's time to head up for the tea ceremony. Welcome to my koya. The tea ceremony started in the 1600s. It's the combination of Shintoism and also the Zen, which is related to harmony and transience. Wow, that's beautiful. I thought it was really fun. Um, I like being able to dress up in the kimono. The ceremony was really interesting. I didn't realize it started with samurais, which is something I found out, and I would definitely come back. There are plenty of opportunities to take photos throughout the place and even dress up as a samurai warrior. Now it's time to learn how to make some Japanese sweets. I think the thing I like most about the Japanese way of doing things is simplicity can equal such beauty. How's that? Thank you. This has been such a delightful experience, learning about the history of the kimono. We got to make some traditional Japanese sweets, and then the tea ceremony, a ritual that's been happening for hundreds of years. This has been the perfect way to immerse ourselves in the culture of Japan.